only in the early 1880s. I'm a fifth generation descendant of William and Mary Nunn. William and Mary were tenant farmers in Suffolk County, England. They were married in 1825 and uh, good tenant farmers having a great life there. The story of how they got to North America is quite unusual. In 1836, the, so the story goes, their oldest son Jesse was tending the landlord's sheep. And one day the landlord came upon Jesse and felt that he was being neglectful of his duties. And in punishment, or as a reminder not to do that anymore, he took his pen knife and tacked through, through nine-year-old Jesse's ear, tacked him to a tree so that he would remember. Well, when my great-great-grandpa, William, came upon his nine-year-old boy tacked to the tree with a pen knife, he was outraged. And he went out in search of, of the landlord, beat him up, beat him up so badly, in fact, that they were forced to flee, the, the whole family, that very night. Well, they went to Liverpool, got on a ship, took 30 days to get across over, landed finally in Dundas, Ontario. They had four kids. The youngest was William Jr. at 20 weeks. Well, it took a while for them to get established, but in, in 1854, a hundred years before I was born, great-great-grandpa William and Mary proved up on their homestead there in Dundas, Ontario. They would have 15 children, 11 boys, 4 girls, and many of them just stayed in Canada. But there were three who decided that they wanted to emigrate then to America. And in about 1881-82, uh, Alfred, William Jr., and John, those three brothers, came to the Detroit Lakes, Detroit at the time, the Becker County area. They settled, they filed on land out by Shoreham and Mud Lake and, and all the way over to Ponsford. If you are walking down the street in Detroit Lakes at the Washington Square Mall, if you look up, you'll notice on the top of the Washington Square Mall a big uh, block, big stone, N-U-N-N, -N, and that is because the uh, my great uncle or my grand uncle GC George Curtis Nunn had his harness shop there in the basement of where the Washington Square Mall is now and directly across the street is Jesse Sylvester who is the namesake of that little boy long ago in England that got pinned to the tree uh, Jesse Sylvester was the undertaker and if you look up in in up on top of the building you'll see the building that he did uh, where he was the undertaker and had a furniture store there Jesse who was referred to as JS 